Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to start a two-day project about the parts of the cell analogy, and I wanted to give you a few tips and steer you in the right direction before you get started so that you can be successful with this project. So as you can see in some of the pictures here, an analogy is a comparison between two different things. So what you are going to be doing today is creating an analogy about the cell, or in other words, comparing a cell to something else. So before you started this project, you should have watched the video called The Cell is Like a City. If you haven't, go back and watch that because that'll give you a great idea of what you're expected to do today. So in that video, the narrator drove around the city of Dunkirk and explained how all the different parts of that city are similar to all the different parts of the cell. So the narrator's overall analogy is the cell is like a city. So we acknowledge that a cell is not exactly the same as a city, but what the narrator was pointing out is that they have a lot of things in common. So for example, he talks about how the nucleus is a lot like town hall, and then he goes on to explain why. He says he knows that the nucleus is the director or the most important part of the cell that tells the rest of the cell what to do. It's kind of in charge. Similarly, town hall is in charge or the director of the rest of the city. It tells all the different parts of the city and the people living in it what they can and can't do. So that's the narrator's analogy comparing a nucleus to town hall. And as you can see in the video, he drives around the rest of Dunkirk and compares various different parts of the city to various different parts of the cell. So you guys are going to do a similar thing today where you are going to find an overall analogy for your cell. So that's like the cell is like a city. And then you will think about all the specific parts of that overall analogy and compare it to the different parts of the cell. So I want to show you one example just to get you started. And that is the cell is like a kitchen. So in this case, the kitchen is my overall analogy. So I'm starting by saying the cell and a kitchen are similar, and I'm going to tell you why by comparing all of the smaller parts of the cell or all the organelles to the smaller parts of the kitchen. One example is the ribosomes. I know that the ribosome's job is to make proteins, and I know that in a kitchen, the chefs are the ones who cook up the protein or make the protein. So I'm going to compare the ribosomes to the chefs. And as you can see down here, here's my explanation. Ribosomes are like chefs because they make protein too. Now I have to go on and compare the rest of the organelles to other parts of the kitchen. So here's one more example to get you started. I know that the chromatin contains the code for the creation of protein, or it contains the directions for the ribosomes to build that protein. So I'm going to compare the chromatin to a recipe. So I said down here, here's my reasoning. Chromatin is like a recipe because a recipe creates the code for the creation of a dish. That recipe tells me what to do to make the dish in the same way that chromatin tells the cell what to do to create the proteins. I'm not gonna give you any more examples for the cell is like a kitchen because I want you to think of some of them on your own, but this is going to be your task for today. So if you want to continue with the kitchen as your overall analogy, you are free to do that. And then you can start thinking about the other parts of the cell, like the cell membrane, the cell wall, the cytoplasm, etc. how all of those compare to a different part of a kitchen. If you want to come up with something different from a kitchen, go for it. I highly encourage you to be creative and think of whatever it is you want to compare your cell to. I've had students in the past compare a cell to a car, a cell is like a factory, a cell is like a castle, a, scale, a cell is like a school. Um, so be creative and come up with something for your overall analogy if you don't want to use a kitchen. So going back to that previous slide, here's what you are expected to do for this project. So the first thing you're going to do is come up with your overall analogy. What is the cell like? Is it like a city? Is it like a kitchen? Is it like something else? And then give us an image right in here of your overall analogy. Then for each organelle, you are going to include the name of the organelle. That's actually already on the slide for you. Tell us, is it found in a plant cell, an animal cell, or both? 
You can use your work from earlier this week and last week to help you answer that question. You're going to tell us its function. What does it do? What's its job? Again, use your work from earlier this week or last week to fill that out. Then use Google to find a picture of the organelle. Then you're going to come up with an analogy for that organelle and find another image of that, similar to how I have an actual image of chromatin and then an image of my analogy, which is the recipe. And finally, give me one sentence about how it connects to your analogy. So my sentence here is chromatin is like a recipe because, and then I explained why these two are similar. So you are going to go through, again, fill in your overall analogy, and then fill in each slide with your comparison. So the cell membrane, that's your first slide. Tell me, is it plant, animal, or both? Tell me its function. What does the cell membrane do? Give me a picture right here, and then come up with an analogy. So the cell membrane is like blank. Tell me what it's like. Tell me why. And give me an image of that analogy. And you are going to do this for each slide in this presentation, telling me how each organelle or part of the cell is similar to each part of whatever you choose to compare it to. You have two days to do this, so don't feel like you need to do it all in one day. If you want to plan it one day and build the slides the next day, you can do that. If you want to do half the slides on the first day, half the slides on the second day, feel free to do that. So you can paste this out as you need to, but keep in mind you have two days to do this and it is due on the end of the second day. So I look forward to seeing what analogies you come up with. Email your teacher if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing what you have to turn in.